Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, now we're going to talk about solving triangles. When you solve a triangle, you're looking for all three sides and both <laughs> acute angles. We know that there has to be a right angle in this triangle. So we're going to use the sine, cosine, or tangent function to find the missing sides and know that the two adjacent angles of a triangle always add up to 90. So in this case, if one angle is 25, we know the other has to be complementary to that, which would be 65. So we've solved that part of, of the triangle so far. Now to find the missing side, we choose which one we want to look at. Let's say that we want to find that vertical leg of the triangle right there. From my reference angle 25 that's circled, I notice that the x leg would be the opposite leg, and we know the hypotenuse is 13. So we look at our sine, cosine, and tangent chart, and we notice that that would be the sine function. So here's the equation. Sine 25 equals x over 13. In order to solve this, we need to plug in sine 25 on our calculator and find out its value. And sine of 25 degrees is 0.4226. Now we finish writing the equation equals x over 13, and in this case we would multiply the two numbers together. The x leg would be 5.49 or 5.5. At this point we have two of the three sides of the triangle. The easiest way to get the missing third side would be to use Pythagorean theorem. In other words, 5.5 squared plus x squared equals 13 squared. But I would like to show you another method, just reminding you there's more than one way to do it. In order to find our, ver our horizontal leg, x, you notice that, again, referring to our reference angle of 25, the x leg is the adjacent one, and I can use the, either the hypotenuse or the opposite leg of 5.5. Let's use the, use the hypotenuse of 13. So my equation this time would be cosine of 25 degrees equals x over 13. Find the cosine value of cosine value of which is 0 0.9063. Multiply by 13 to get our answer. The horizontal leg is 11.8. So just to quickly review, if you know one acute angle, subtract from 90 to get the other. If you know two sides of the triangle, to find the third, you could use Pythagorean theorem or use the appropriate sine, cosine, or tangent function. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.